In this video, we're having a look at some 3D drawing techniques, including isometric, with a focus on how to create three-dimensional form, and then use shading, or as it's often referred to in design technology, rendering, to apply tone to make the objects look more three-dimensional. I'm going to start by drawing a series of shapes, and then I'm going to apply tone to them. Now, tone can take a circle from looking like a flat circle to a sphere. So that's an easy starting point. Here, I'm drawing an isometric cube. Now, the key to isometric drawing is that all lines must be parallel and vertical or at approximately 30 degrees. Because these are quick sketches, the style I might use for an initial idea, I'm not using a ruler or a set square at the moment. So just make sure the lines you draw are parallel. Now the next technique I'm doing here starts off in exactly the same way and it's a technique called crating. You'll notice I'm doing light pencil lines first to establish where I want things to go. I'm going to draw a triangular prism here by starting with a cube, finding the center of the top section and then drawing angles to link the two corners together. And this is how I would draw a triangular prism using the technique referred to as crating. I'm now going to move on to draw some slightly more complicated shapes that involve curves and cylinders using the crating technique. When I was producing the crated shapes with curves, hopefully you'll notice that the key was to add exactly the same curve on either side, and that will give you a realistic looking 3D curved crated shape. I'm just writing down the key terms here. So remember, the isometric drawing was the 3D style. Crating is drawing a box to produce a more complex shape in. Tone is when we're gonna add shading to make it look more three-dimensional. And form is the overall three-dimensional shape. Adding tone will make the shapes look more three-dimensional and you need to consider the light source and where it be coming from. So for the first couple, I'm going to draw on a little sun image very lightly so I can consider where the light would come from. This should allow me to see which surface will be most in shadow and which will have the most light. For the cube, I'm going to work with three different levels of pressure, darkest on one side, medium on one and lightest on the other. At this point, to avoid smudging my drawing, I'm going to place a piece of scrap paper under my hand as I do my rendering. Rendering a sphere is significantly more complicated as you need to consider where the light source would be and then think about how the highlight would blend from the lightest point to the shadow point. This will take a bit of practice, but if you watch the example, you should be able to see how this can achieve a three-dimensional form on what was otherwise a two-dimensional shape.
Now continue to watch the rest of the demonstration to see how I'd apply tone to a range of three dimensional shapes and feel free to pause the video and recap sections if you need to.